Hey, what's going on, everyone? Sports World 3 here, bringing you a very cool display piece type of diorama of Aliens versus Predator set. This is from McFarlane. This is the uh, birth of the hybrid uh, Aliens versus Predator set. And uh, if you can remember, if you watch the end of that movie, you remember at the end there where the uh, the predator was laying there clearly on the table there and uh, the uh, alien burst right out of his chest and everything well that's what this is you know what that's from so I just wanted to share it with you guys so let's see if we can zoom in there a little bit and we'll take a look at this guy here first of all you can see the alien coming out of his chest which is very very awesome this set is just it's this beast and um, I picked this up off that Listia website, and uh, it actually it's it actually arrived in pretty good shape. Though there was you know I had to put it all together in a couple of little tabs for the uh, you know the little housing display there it was actually broken, but pretty much glued just about everything together. The detail on these guys is actually pretty good. Take a look at that. I mean that's that's just awesome looking not bad not bad at all you can tell he's in some pain there screaming but there's the uh, the hybrid alien slash predator so you can see where it's got the alien look to it mixed with the predator you know the the mandibles or whatever next to his uh, his mouth but yeah and you can see some blood there and then on the back it's like he broke through there too through his back so yeah this guy is actually pretty beast I don't and you can see the difference with the hands there I'm not sure what's going on with that one looks all wrinkly and shriveled up and the other one looks kind of normal but not bad at all definitely a nice looking little figure there's no there's not really any articulation at all nothing in the feet nothing at the knees or hips or waist um, his hands or his arms do move up and down but I don't understand I guess you could he could be laying there begging for help or whatever you know, with his arm up like oh geez I'm dying but you know it's pointless articulation they might as well just have left it out but nonetheless it is it is really cool it's got some nice uh, detail here it's just very very well done so we'll get him out of the way now I'm assuming this is one of the elder predators here as you can see it's got the closed mouth thing going on it's like he's just standing by watching it all take place and um, whatnot and you know the cape is really nice too let's let's pan back here a little bit see now this cape is all rubber and it doesn't it doesn't come off in order to get it off you'd have to basically break it it's looped right around his neck and this guy here has has some limited articulation his let's see we'll move his wrist does spin around right here it's all made out of rubber and his wrist does spin around over here these came separate and you plug these in I'm actually half tempted to, to glue these blades in and they plug right in here under here but he does have some articulation there and the head it the head wants to move but his dreadlocks kind of getting in the way so I don't want to force it and ruin it but there is a little bit there and of course nothing at the feet and this is uh he's got some metal pegs there and that's so he locks in there's two holes here and here over here and it's just where he stands but uh yeah he does have some shoulder articulation you can see that so you can move it back and forth like that it's kind of another again doesn't make any sense about that and then same thing over here you can kind of see where there's some articulation in his shoulder and that's about it so he's got some nice armor and 
Of course, he's got his little trophy uh, necklace there, uh, chained on around his neck there. You can see all the skulls and the skeletons and different uh, creatures that they've killed. And then on the shoulder pad there, it's like a an alien helmet of sort. So yeah, this thing is, the detail on these is pretty good, to say the least. But yeah, he just pegs in right over here. And then like I said, these two little, his, his blades, they are removable. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use some Gorilla Glue and just put them in there. Keep them permanently in there. And he just lays here. Of course, you can lay it either way you want. I mean, they show it, like the pictures I've seen, they show it laying like this here. But I think it looks a little better like this, personally, with the arm up a little. So, let's take a look. Let's take a little bit a closer look at the, uh, the the tomb, the chamber thing. Now, you can see some detail on there. Looks really nice. Actually, this is what we're gonna do. We just move this guy, and we'll move this guy, and we'll just kind of tilt this forward, so you can see got the detail along the bottom there all the ancient writing and it looks it looks real it looks like it's steel it's it's very well well thought out well done i like it so not bad at all i'm glad i got this i got this uh, diorama it's, it's going to look nice i got a perfect spot for it on a shelf and like like i said it comes all apart and you can piece it together like but when it comes in the set uh I don't know for sure because I didn't get it brand new. And on the top here, let's see, we'll lift this up. We'll give you a shot at the top and I'll show you. See, and that's what it looks like at the top. See the alien versus predator. And that's just actually, that's this thin cardboard that's uh, pressed on there, held on by these little pegs. But yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, if you're an aliens in, or a predator collector, yeah, I recommend this. That thing is awesome. I'm glad I have it. It's definitely uh, a must-have if you like displaying your your stuff. Yeah, you can't go wrong with this set. But there it is, the uh, McFarlane uh, Birth of the Hybrid uh, diorama display set. And uh, if I can get that back in there. Yeah. So there you go. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching and stopping by and checking it out. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.